Hello everyone, Firecrest Gaming here, and welcome back to another video. We are here for the play for a playthrough of the original Forza Horizon, with the third game releasing now in a little under a month. It's about it's 22 days from now because it is now the first of September. I'm looking forward to it, and I hope you are too. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna waste any time. Let's go for this. Ah. Okay, I thought... Well, never mind, we're going to be starting from this point. Okay, basically, I'll explain. What happened is, I recorded the first episode of... Um, uh, of, her, of, her, of her, this game. And then... After that, I... Um, uh, I had it all d had it all down. I, I started to export it from the Elgato. I can speak, um, and well, I ran out of space while I was exporting the video, and yeah, that was that. It just deleted itself from the Elgato because there wasn't enough enough room, and it just I don't know it had a massive hoff, and well, this is what we have now. We're starting from. The green wristband. Oh dear! <laughs> well, I mean, that could have gone a lot worse. But uh, to start this video off, we're going to go and do a couple of the showcase events. Um, and then we'll move on with some of the actual events for uh, this <sighs> wristband. 181st. Okay, we've still got a while to go to the top. This will be a ride to remember. You take first prize and you'll drive away the car you burn them all in. I hope so, because I want an original Mini. They're nice cars. Let's do this. Also, yeah, these cars are so quiet that we just were able to hear the the crowd for a minute. Come on, Mini! This is the most pathetic race of all time. And we got a run here on Herb, and then Estrada in front of him. We're going around the outside into the bridge. Yes, lovely. Inside here. Yeah, oh, hit the wall slightly, but that's fine. Inside of the mini. Oh, you squeezed me into the wall! Oh, you didn't! You actually just did that. You squeezed me into the wall. I understand this is Horizon, no one likes to play nice, but come on. You can't kill me. I'm the tail of Gonzalez. And again, I've messed up that final corner. I can't do it. Come on. Foot down. Yeah, you I've got some I got some money in the middle of a race. Well, yeah, I got paid by Adidas. There you go, that's, there you go. this video is sponsored by Adidas. Oh, blind faith chasing status. I remember this. This was actually used, um, if you didn't know. This using the 2012 uh, Monaco race edit for F1. That was back when race edits were good. We win. Oh, oh, we got hit at the end. I heard that. Great driving. The crowd loves you. The sponsor is delighted. You can keep the car. Well done. Yay! I get a mini. Uh, I don't want to get in the car because I'll keep in the Viper. Well, I think I know which way. I know which way I'm going. You? No, come on. Don't get in my way now. I know which way I'm going, and this is going to get fun. This may be a bit childish, but I don't care. This has always been fun to me, and probably always will be. How many cars are in a row? That's a lot of cars. Don't care about skill points! Don't care about skill points! <laughs> oh god! Still going! I'm still going! And there we go. You see, come on. I, I, I can't I can't resist. I always ended up being a little challenge there to kinda of like seeing um between me and my friends back when we played this game regularly. Um always basically having a look which one of us could jump the furthest on that. It was always fun. 
What are you doing? You stupid Ferrari FF. Get out of the way. Uh, no, because I'm pretty sure racing a jet was more exciting. And fr frankly, a hot air balloon should be easy to beat. Should. And we're off again. Yeah, I'll turn the radio off for this one. But, uh, in case you are wondering, um, when I went to Insomnia, I, I did go to Insomnia, um, on Monday, at uh, the time of recording this, and I got to play, um, Horizon 3 there, and I can, basically, to give you a bit of a short summary now, um, the game feels, and handling-wise, very unchanged from Horizon 2, which uh, isn't too much of a problem, because Horizon 2's handling is very, very nice. Um, still a bit questionable about the going off-road with supercars and stuff. Um, but... The graphics look extremely nice. There's only one game I've played that's even come close to matching that, and that was one of the scenes from uh, Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. Uh, that's the only thing that's come close to just... Maybe, maybe a few of us that I'm forgetting off the top of my head right now. Um... But few other games have come close to how graphically nice that looks. It's obviously the latest, so it would. But you never know. And also, the um, showcase event that you got to, I got to do against the basically the Chinook lookalike, dropping the Jeep down, that was pretty fun as well. Wait, are we gonna... Wait. Oh, okay. Where did... I don't even know if... Don't even know. I wish it wasn't even a few minutes, I wish it was just like a minute something run. And I have an Audi Quattro. See, this is when the handling of this game gets a little bit difficult. Because, obviously, the handling on road is a little bit slidey, a little bit out of control. On this, when you take a rear-wheel drive, many, many hundreds of horsepower muscle car off-road, it kind of gets a little bit um, like driving on ice. I know that maybe I'm deliberately getting the tail out here, but come on, this is fun. Oh, great sign. That's 21. Oh! Oh, wait. There, there we go. There we go. I was wondering when that was going to happen. That's a long way away. I'm going to hold on doing that for the moment because I'm only one mile away from this race. And also, if you're wondering about the Viper, I bought that while I was off screen, and I thought I'd just get a car for like running around and stuff. Really, Beetle? Oh god! I'm here. Green wristband events are tough. You've done well to make it this far. Keep an eye on Ali Howard. I reckon he's the guy to beat if you want to progress. You can't end with this event in that car. You need to select another one from your garage. I'm going to go for the Scirocco. I'll be looking in my mirror for you, yo. That's if you can stay close. They are. I was, I was remember they had a Honda Civic. Peter Houston, starting in first place, also has a green Scirocco. And there's Howard. Oh dear. That was not very good. No turn in. Well, minimal. And Howard's just gone straight back past. Okay, maybe I should have put some upgrades on this car, because right now I'm struggling. I'm going to keep trying. At the moment, this car doesn't seem to be working for me. You're slow through there, Howard. I'm going to pick up the pieces. And the mini. Okay, it seems to be this section we start to close. And the rest of it, 
We're a little bit down. Past the goal for Scirocco, 1-2. Houston, multi-21. <laughs> Wait, um, wrong, wrong game. <laughs> That bit over the bridge isn't nice, because it's just a blind... It's just completely blind, you have no idea where you're going. I wonder how bad that is. Oh, okay, I'm going to try this lap in cockpit cam. See what happens. Probably going to go horribly. Not the greatest of starts. I'm probably going way too quick into that, and I'm just using the grass as a bit of an egg... A bit of an extra, extra road. Eh, it's still P1. It's fine. Well, that was a bit too close for my liking. I like your style, yo. You got something. Listen up. I got a thing going over with the lot in Carson. You know it? Drop by sometime and we'll see how you drive when there's more than points at stake. You know what I'm saying? And this is between us, okay? Keep it that way. I remember this now. Now we get to do some street races, which will, I believe, get, give us more money. Hi. <laughs> just, hi, that's all I can say. Uh, the, the way that just... I'm not sure it came up on the recording there, but the way that just framed was um, a little bit interesting, to say the least. Can I just say, though, how much fun it is to be back on this game? We all kind of... Uh, that's not a great start, uh, but yeah, you don't understand how much fun it is to be back on this game, it's kind of like, I think everybody, I don't know, we just didn't think it was too much when it first came out, kind of no one really thought too highly of it, and right now, well not no one, but not many people thought highly of it, and now, coming back, I actually just realised how nice this game is to play. Kind of, it doesn't actually feel like a proper game as such. It's not like it's nothing serious. Championships, and I respect that. <laughs> I do. But what we got right here is a different kind of experience. Pink slip. Hey. All or nothing. You ain't never felt a rush like it. Come hang with us whenever you feel the need, yo. That's what you're saying, baby. You gonna roll away. Okay, since I've played this game a l um, well now, um, rather than later, why does that guy remind me of Tedge? I'm saying, why does that guy remind me of Tedge so much? Yeah, I don't have an A-class car. Yeah, 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 shut up. Um, hmm. I'm going to take the Subaru. Let's give this a go for B. And you can see how much money was up on the stake. 23,000? And then 22,000 for the C, and then 24,000 for the A. Which is kind of pushing me now to going to get that showcase event done, which I believe is for a Corvette. Which is an A-class car. Oh, and I've got every single car. Is, it's basically Fast and Furious style. I forgot about that. I mean, I've tried, but... We're going for it. Going around the outside. Just trying to get the speed right now. Oh, no. Oh! Thank you for wheel drive. Oh wow, please go slower through the corner, man. Come on. I know I'm crashing into you right now, and that's not cool, but come on. 
That's an RX-7. Okay, we've got to sprint to the finish now. Come on, Subaru. I think we've got this. Oh yeah, we've got this. We've got way more straight line speed than they do. Charlie Keen. Well, it looks like you're not very keen on this victory. And the bad jokes begin already. 22 minutes in. And in the end, just under 40,000. Because of the difficulty and assist bonus. Uh, no, don't want to stay in that car. Um, hmm. Mustang or Corrado? Well, it should be quite obvious. You'd real realistically use the Corrado. But I want to make some fun, so let's use the Mustang. Stop. Got it. <laughs> Go. Actually, there's a couple of other muscle cars in this race, so I'm not going to be left out. Can have a look at first. Will I move up on Funk? No! No. What? Whoa, okay, frame. Don't do that. That just jumped forward. That's the equivalent of lag then. Never do that again. Because I was still driving that entire time. Again, it probably won't come up on the Elgato with the recording, but jeez, that was a jump and a half. Maximum power. No. No, 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 no. No, no, you... Mm. God damn it. I think we've got this as long as there's nothing on the road. Yeah, we got it. Wait, what? No, that wasn't the end. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Premature celebration then. Don't know why I did that. 41,000. No thanks. No. I'm not staying in that car. You know, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the showcase with the Corvette right now. There we go. Yes, it was the one with the Corvette. It's the one with the Corvette versus a helicopter. <clears throat> helicopter. I can speak. Honestly, if we're basing this off what we normally know about helicopters and cars, then the helicopter should win easily. I oh, know the chopper. <laughs> Never mind. No, the, they're not even going to call it by its own name. They have to give it, give it the, the shorter name. They have to call it the chopper. And there's an obvious joke to be made there. Okay, now all of a sudden I was four, I was four hundredths behind a minute ago. Now I'm seven tenths down. Now two. Oh, gone a bit wide. Power. Come on, please! Where is he? 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 Oh, there he is. That was easy. 